Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to explain the steps to draw a circle diagram of an induction motor. First, let us look into the definition of circle diagram. Circle diagram, also known as Helen diagram or Helen circle, is the graphical representation of the performance of the electrical machine. Circle diagram can be done for alternator, synchronous motor, transformer, and induction motor. Before we start off constructing circle diagram, there are certain parameters that need to be calculated. To understand further, let us look into one question. Star connected induction motor of 3 phase, 4 pole, 50 hertz and 5 HP rating. And these are the data given under knowledge test. And these are the data given under block rotor test. To calculate phi naught, we have a formula. After putting the given data in the formula, we get phi naught equal to 78.93 degree. And to calculate phi SC, we have a formula. And putting the given data in the given equation, we get uh, phi C equal to 60 degree. This uh, phi naught represents or gives the angle between voltage and no load current, and this phi SC gives the angle between voltage and proprietor current. The most important thing. We need to convert the current and power into its corresponding related value of a motor. To convert that, we have a formula ISN equal to rock rotor current bracket V0 over VVR and WSN equal to WPR bracket V0 over VVR bracket cross whole square. And after putting the given data in the equation we get ISN equal to 40 ampere and WSN equal to 6800 watt. Now before we construct circle diagram let us take our current scale as 1 centimeter equal to 2 ampere so the length of I0 equal to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 centimeter and the length of ISN 40 divided by 2 which is equal to 20 centimeter. Now let us construct a circle diagram First, draw a positive y axis, positive y axis, and positive x axis. Along the positive x axis, it represents the reference axis, and along the positive y axis, it represents voltage. Now, measure phi naught as 78.93 degree, and from point or from origin, extend this line till Odish and the angle should be 78.93 degree and the length of origin till Odish should be 3 cm because this length represents no load current which is 6 ampere and after getting phi naught we need to measure phi c which is 60 degree and from origin extend a broken line Still, let us mark it as a point G and the length of this uh, broken line should be 20 cm because this length represents the, the length of ISN or the current of ISN which is 40 ampere. After that from O dash you need to extend the upward line till it reaches point G and this line represents the output line. And also from point O to H, you need to extend parallel line corresponding to reference axis. So to get the point P, we need to draw up from O to H and from point G. First, let us draw to arc from point O to H and keeping compass at O to H, we need to draw one arc somewhere here and one arc somewhere here and from point G also you need to draw arc somewhere here and somewhere here and after getting two arc you need to extend the line which is passing through the both arc and 
this line represents the PA or maximum power and from point P you also need to extend the broken line in upper direction and uh, this uh, broken line should be perpendicular to the ISN length or ISN line and this line should uh, perpendicular to the output line now oh, let us to a circle to do a circle you need to come past at point P and need to start drawing circle from point O dash and while drawing circle it should pass through the point G and draw the locus of a circle till it touches the line this parallel line and let's mark it as T dash after that you need to extend the vertical state line downward from point G till reference axis and let's mark it as uh, point K and point J and the length of point K to J gives you the fixed losses and you also need to divide this length of G to K into two equal part because rotor copper losses is exact half of copper losses and let's mark it as a point H and from point H you need to extend line till O dash and this line gives you the drop line and uh, from point H to G it represents the rotor copper losses and from point H to K it represents stator copper losses now let us take power scale 1 cm equal to WSN over the length of GJ uh, which is uh, 10 cm and after calculating we get 680 watt 1 cm represents 680 watt and for 5 HP we know that in 1 HP there is uh, 745.7 watt and for 5 HP uh, we get 3728.5 watt and for 5 HP we need to divide 3728.5 divided by 680 which gives you 5.4 centimeter which means 5 HP power represents the length of 4.5 centimeter now to represents the full load output you need to extend the straight vertical line from point G in upper direction and let's mark it as point F and the length of G to F should be 5.4 centimeter and from point F extend the broken line which is perpendicular to the line of ISN and and draw this broken line till here and let's mark it as point A from point A you need to draw vertical state line downward till reference axis and you also need to draw the line from point A till it reaches to the origin and this length gives you full load current and this phi L the angle between full load current and voltage reference gives you the voltage of or gives you the voltage between full load current and voltage and from this circle diagram we can also calculate the full load slip to calculate that first you need to measure the length of DC divided by the length of AC this gives you the full load slip thank you